The function we are given here is a rational function. Uh, the top is the polynomial 2x minus 3, and the bottom is the polynomial 5x plus 4. And so upon first glance, we think, oh, this is written as a quotient. I should utilize the quotient rule. But then before diving into the quotient rule always, you should think, but is there any algebra that would help me um, either avoid the quotient rule or simplify my situation first? And um, for this particular function, uh, when we're taking the derivative, there's not anything we can do to simplify this that would be super helpful or at least be worth the time. Um, and really the reason is because of the subtraction sign on the top and the addition sign in the bottom. The fact that we have more than one term, especially in the bottom, means any sort of um, manipulation that we're going to do is either going to take too much time or is ultimately going to not make anything better. And so really our correct approach here is to utilize the quotient rule. Uh, no algebra needed first. So we are ready to dive into the derivative. And so the quotient rule, that is not a very straight line. Let's try that again. The quotient rule here has uh, the denominator, denominator, which is the bottom of the original function, uh, squared. And that's the bottom of the uh, quotient rule derivative. So we've got 5x plus 4, uh, that factor squared on the bottom. So on the top, we've got the derivative of the top, uh, which is the derivative of 2x minus 3, times the bottom, which is 5x plus 4, and then the quotient rule has a subtraction sign there. So from it, we subtract the top, which is 2x minus 3, times the derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of the bottom, we're talking the derivative of 5x plus 4. Okay. So uh, we're ready to take these two little derivatives on the top to finish up our quotient rule. I'm going to uh, draw my line here and I'm going to go ahead and write in uh, that denominator because it's really easy to, when you're doing the quotient rule, lose the bottom. Uh, so here we've got two little derivatives on the top to handle. We need the derivative of the line 2x minus 3. Well that line has slope 2 um, and so that is actually the derivative. Um, so we've got the factor 2 sitting out front there. Um, and we could do that term by term where we've got the constant multiple 2 times the derivative of x. Derivative of x is 1. Uh, and then we subtract from it the derivative of the constant 3, which just means we're subtracting 0. So we can see uh, the derivative of that line 2x minus 3 either at, holistically as what is the derivative of a line or term by term um, if we want to follow the rules. So we've got the 2 sitting there uh, and we multiply it by the factor 5x plus 4. And then we've got to subtract from it the factor 2x minus 3. And now we've got a derivative of another line. So by the same argument, the derivative of 5x plus 4 is simply that slope there of the line, which is 5. Okay? So now... Um, at this point, the derivative is actually completely taken, and so uh, in some sense we're done. Uh, and that would maybe be good enough on these initial problems where we're just trying to get the derivative. As soon as all the ddx's go away, we're golden. There's the derivative. But it is probably worth also at this time to go ahead and start practicing um, a little bit of the algebra cleanup that would be involved. Because what's going to be coming later is not only do we need to compute these derivatives, but we're going to be utilizing these derivatives to do important things. And we can only do that if they're really algebraically fairly clean. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to clean up the top by uh, distributing those constants and uh, distributing the negative sign uh, and also uh, then combining in our like terms. So here we've got, um, I went ahead and drew my line. I'm going to write in the bottom. I'm not going to square out the bottom. That's never constructive because having something in truly factored form is definitely preferable. Um, but the top is not factored in any sort of sense because of that subtraction sign that comes from the quotient rule. All right, so now I'm ready to clean up the top. I'm going to distribute the 2 uh, and I get a 10x plus 8. And now um, I'm going to kind of distribute two things at once because I have a subtraction sign that needs to be distributed, but I've also got the constant 5. So what I'm going to do is kind of use the associative property to do that. Um, the minus 1 times the positive 5 is really a minus 5, a negative 5. So I'm going to distribute a negative 5 across the other factor. And when I do that, I've got a negative 10 x and then I've got a uh, positive 15 so plus 15 okay 
So I uh, actually notice that when we combine our like terms, I've got positive 10x minus 10x. So those 10x's go away, uh, leaving us on the top with uh, the 8 plus the 15, which is our 23. And then the bottom, we're leaving the nice factored uh, 5x plus 4 uh, squared. And that would be our derivative. And that is a, a very nice, clean uh, final answer there for our derivative.